Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, honestly, I have been slacking quite a bit with the new content recently. Things outside of Dokkan have just been kind of crazy, so I do apologize for that. But last night, I managed to finally complete the full Easy 8 Ginyu Force team, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to test them out on the OG Ginyu Force Super Battle Road stage, which if I remember correctly, kicked my ass quite a few times back in the day because this was not an easy stage, but now the team is significantly better, so it's time for me to get some revenge. Now, before we jump into it, I do want to quickly go over the details for each of the Extreme Z Awakened units, so if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about two to three minutes to save yourselves some time, okay? So, with that said, let's start with the Int Captain Ginyu, whose leader skill is Special Pose Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Int Types Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack, raises attack, raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and seals Super Attack. And Passive is Attack and Defense plus 100, and 70%, key plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when facing only one enemy, attack plus 50% and reduces damage received by 50% when facing two or more enemies, plus an additional attack plus 50% and disables enemy's guard when there is another Guinea Force category ally on the team. Now next up we have the AGL Birder, who is a Dragon Ball Seekers leader, K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or AGL types, K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, raises defense, raises attack for one turn, and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, per key sphere obtained, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, as the first attacker in a turn, medium chance of launching an additional super attack as the second or third attacker in a turn, and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 20% when there is another Ginyu Force category ally on the team. After that, we have the Tech Guldo, Leader Skill, Planet Namek Saga, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Tech Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Super attack greatly raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and high chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when key is 12. Attacked enemies attack and defense minus 20% for two turns and seals the attacked enemy super attack. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% per Ginyu Force category ally on the team up to 50%. And there's the STR Jace, Leader Skill, Space Traveling Warriors, Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or STR Types, E plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, uh, Super Attack raises defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage, and raises allies attack and defense by 20% for one turn, passive is attack and defense minus, or sorry, attack and defense plus 20%, no, that's 90%. Attack and defense plus 90%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, with each attack performed up to 60%. Extreme class allies, key plus 3, attack plus 30%, for seize enemy super attack. Ginyu Force category allies, defense plus 40%, when there is another Ginyu Force category ally on the team. And finally, last but not least, we have the Fizz Raccoon. Leader skill, terrifying conquerors, category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 77% or Fizz types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%. Attack and defense plus 30% with each attack received up to 120%. And then high chance of guarding all attacks when there is another gaining force category ally on the team. So there you go, that is the full Ginyu Force Extreme Z Awakened team. And uh, obviously since we are on the Ginyu Force only stage, the best leader we can bring is this tech LR Ginyu Goku, who provides, uh, you know, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. So unfortunately, 
we are going to be able to, you know, see them at their full potential right now. We can only see them in this free-to-play Ginyu Force team. But after, once we're done this stage, I'm probably going to quickly jump into a token event and use, like, a full power Frieza leader or an STR cooler leader so we can see them under 170% leader skills. All right, so we got the new Ginyu... Uh, support memory item there, 10% attack and defense for two turns, I believe. And we're starting with the Captain Ginyu, the Raccoon, as well as the Ginyu Goku. Now, Ginyu should have 50% damage reduction right now, so I'm not too worried about him. I am a little bit worried about Raccoon in the middle though, just in case we get supered by Krillin, because he hasn't had a chance to build up yet, but... I think I'll just leave the rotation as is. Hopefully we don't die on the first turn. And uh, let's give a couple of orbs to Ginyu. Uh, Rakuma give these. And then we'll target uh, Krillin with the Ginyu Goku. I'll give these to him. Okay, let's see what happens. There we go. So... Yeah, looks like he's tanking very, very well. Attack up to 2 million. And also ceiling. You know what? I should have actually attacked Krillin with the Ginyu. Although I guess it doesn't matter that much. Because I was expecting to take a lot more damage with Raccoon with the type disadvantage. But that was actually really good. I mean, the first attack was kind of rough. We took like 20k, but the second attack was only double digits. So that was pretty good. Okay, so Gohan is now sealed. Um, why don't we put Birder in the front? And yeah, let's do, let's just give these to Birder. Um, I guess we'll keep going for Krillin just because of the type disadvantage here against Gohan. And here we go. So yeah, we're off to a really good start. I'll be honest with you guys, man, I have not Ooh, this might suck. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was the 20% dodge chance kicking in, guys. 20% dodge chance, because uh, in case you didn't know, when it says, you know, dodge chance as the first attacker, you have to attack first to get that dodge chance. But because he also gets the additional 20% dodge chance with other Ginyu Force, you know, allies on the team, uh, we were able to dodge that first attack as well before we attacked. So that was pretty legit. Okay, so it looks like this stage is now really, really easy, which is kind of what I expected, but it's just nice to have it confirmed, you know? And uh, as I was gonna say, this is literally my first time using them together as a complete Extreme Z Awakened team. So, you know, everything that I see now is kind of like a first reaction and I like what I see, guys. <laughs> I really like what I see. Um, so now that we have Jace on rotation, we know that there's no super attacks this turn. So I can kind of feel safe about... Wait, hold on. Uh... Oh, yeah, no, never mind. I was going to say, I, I saw the little, like, target thing. I was like, wait, is he super attacking? But I just realized that just means we're targeting that guy. So it's fine. We're good. No super attacks this turn. Um, I can kind of put anyone anywhere, really. But I guess if I want to play it safe... I would put Ginyu at the end, but I don't really want to take Ginyu out of rotation. But I also want to keep Jace for the super attack, you know, like, prediction. So, uh, I think we'll play it like this. Let's put Ginyu at the end, we'll put Jace in the middle, and let's go for Vegeta, obviously. Uh, just one orb for Akum. Uh, let's give a couple to Jace just to fill up a bit. And uh, the rest will go to Ginyu. We should heal up a little bit there too. There we go. Okay. So taking 17 damage there. And we still got three more stacks to go with Rakum. Okay. Perfect. So <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a no item run, guys. Um, like I said, you know, when this stage first came out, when I was using the Ginyu Force without any Extreme Z Awakenings, I distinctly remember it took me quite a few tries to beat this stage, man. Like it was not, it was not easy. 
but now it's like kind of a cakewalk you know and I don't want to like get ahead of myself because we're not done yet obviously but it's been pretty chill so far uh, let's go for let's go for Goku here I'm gonna try to take him out as uh, quickly as we can just because the Vegeta right now is sealed so we don't have to worry about him too much okay uh, I want to save the tech orbs but I don't think I can okay fine I'll give these to Guldo give these Begin you Goku. And remember guys, this is under a 100% leader skill. So just wait until we get to 170%. Like if they're putting up these numbers, you know, with only 100% leader skills, then we should be seeing at least Ginyu getting to like 3 mil plus, you know? And uh, these other guys should be doing like 2 mil plus easily. So yeah, great, great Extremes the Awakenings from what I can tell. And obviously we're on global right now, so I really don't have the you know opportunity or the chance to run the uh, extreme super battle stage for Ginyu Force. But now that we have this, you know, on global, it should be significantly easier than what JP players had to deal with, because once again, this team is just so much more powerful than it was back in the day. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Goku here, and. Uh, Let's try to finish him off with the Ginyu Goku. Now, I was really hoping, I was really, really hoping that the Ginyu Goku would also get an Extreme Z Awakening. But, uh, ooh, 2.38 mil. 2.3, almost 2.4 for Raccoon. Yeah, but unfortunately, we didn't get that, um, which is fine, I guess, because, like, he still is very good as a support unit. But just imagine if they also gave the LR a Extreme Z Awakening and made him, like, a 150%. Can you first lead? Like this team would be insane. I mean, it's it's already very very impressive, right? But if we just had an even better leader skill, then it would be perfect. So hopefully we get that soon. Hopefully within the next couple of months, we'll have to see. But uh, we are on the last stage now. So far, no items used. I don't think we're gonna have to use an item the whole time. Uh, I'm gonna leave Ginyu where he is. Hmm, I'm a little bit concerned about that last stage, or sorry, not last stage, the last uh, slot with all those attacks, but um, I think if we, okay, let's, let's, let's play it like this, let's play it like this, so I'm gonna put Burger at the end, uh, we're gonna seal this dude, we are gonna try to stun this dude, and at the very least if we don't stun him, we're we gonna seal him. And uh, then we should be fine, actually. There shouldn't be any attacks at the end, or maybe just one attack at the end. And then even if we get attacked, you know, we're still gonna have a 20% chance to dodge. Okay. So yeah, Ginyu is doing amazing as a tank. Uh, did some good damage there too. Yep, double digits all the way. I don't think he's taken more than like 100 damage from a hit so far. And uh, there's uh, Goldo lowering attack and defense, getting the seal off, no stun, but that's fine. And there's a dodge, took 69 damage, nice, 105. Oh my god, what a difference, man. What a difference these ECAs have made for this team. Okay, so, on this stage, uh, we do have to be a little bit careful about, you know, Raccoon taking attacks here, but... Uh, honestly, not overly concerned. Let's just go for... Is it Naze? I think it's Naze, right? Okay, we'll go for him. And uh, go back to... Uh, Thouser for Ginyu Goku. And we probably shouldn't have to take more than like... Two more rotations at most. To get this done. And you know what? This would have been probably like a record if I wasn't talking so much in the beginning. But... It'll be fine. We're not here to set records. I just wanted to see how much easier this stage would be. And, uh, man, it is an absolute joke now. <laughs> it is. It was not a joke before. Legit, it was not a joke before. But now, it is very much a joke. Okay, so we're going to throw Ginyu there. Let's uh, take him out. He should be dead. And then we'll kill him. 
And... Ooh, we can't get a Super Ashley with the Ginyu Goku, but that's 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 fine. <laughs> no big deal. Ooh, okay, there's a Super. Yo, for a type advantage super attack, or like we had a type disadvantage, right? To take only 35, 36k for a super with no items activated is actually mad impressive. That's actually really, really good. All right, so let's finish things off here. I'ma let the uh, MVP go with that. That ability, like I love units that let you see super attacks, man, because it's just so useful. So I'ma call Jace the MVP, even though he didn't do the most damage. You know, he is definitely from a utility, like usefulness perspective, definitely my favorite. So I'm gonna let him finish things off, even though all of these guys are very good, man. You know, Birder hits really hard, uh, Raccoon, great tank, uh, you know, Birder with the dodges, um, Goldo kind of does a little bit of everything, I guess, with the seals and the, the stuns, and who else am I forgetting? Did I see something about Jace? I, I love Jace. He's my favorite, actually. So there you have it guys, uh, now we're going to quickly just jump over to, let's say the, oh hold on, okay let me go to events, and let's jump over to the Super Saiyan Goku Dokkan event, right, it's going to be fairly quick, and I just want to see what happens if we have like proper leaders, so, uh, STR Extreme, uh, right, there is, a cooler and let me switch out the leader here as well for my cooler okay there you have it um should we maybe switch up the support uh, it doesn't really matter forget the support memory no support memory this time let's just go in like that and uh, let's see how much more impressive they are now under 170% leader skills compared to before where it was only 100%, so a, I guess, 140% increase over the last run. All right, all right, all right, here we go. So let's leave Goldo and Birder in the rotation. Uh, I forgot to check the defense, actually. I'm not sure what it was. doesn't matter, though. Okay. So obviously, taking double digits. No surprise there. Uh, 1.7 mil for the first attack, and 1.5 mil for Burger. All right, not too shabby. Not too shabby. I was maybe expecting a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more, but I think the biggest difference will be for Ginyu here. All right, Ginyu, let's see. Defense, 146,000 defense. Okay, 87,000 for Raccoon. Pretty sweet. All right, I'm actually going to leave. Yeah, I'm going to put Birder. Sorry, not Birder. I'm getting the names, make, I'm getting the names mixed up right now. Uh, I'm going to put Raccoon in the front. This happens all the time. I don't know why. When I, when I have to switch between like a bunch of names in a video, sometimes I just call everybody like, you know, the other names, and it just gets all messed up, but it's fine. I got it right eventually, that's all that matters. So, yeah, Raccoon in the front, Captain Ginyu with 2.67 mil for the first attack. Obviously, he um, stacks attack, right? So, later on, if we actually make it there, we should be able to see, you know, like, 3 mil plus after a few attacks. Okay, so now we're getting a super in the first slot. I'm gonna put Birder there. Um, yeah, okay, let's leave Birder where he is. And let's give a few orbs to these guys. Now, as you can see, yeah, everybody gets supers uh, without orbs, right? Like, they just link so well that they don't really need any additional key, which is also nice. And one thing I'll say is, like, this team is amazing for, like, new players or free-to-play players. Like, people, if you're struggling, if you're fairly new and you're struggling with Dokkan events, then there's no reason why you, you know, sh don't have this team complete. You know, like, this team can crush any Dokkan event, 
Dokkan event in the game right now. It can get you any Dokkan Awakening medals that you need. So I would say like this is the first priority for anyone that uh, is like fairly new to the game, right? Because like this is the only team you really need for like 97% of the events in the game. So yeah, definitely get to work, farm out your Ginyu Force, farm out the Team Bardock, Extreme Z Awaken, your Ginyu Force, and you're probably set for a long time, you know, until you can like summon and get better teams, like more better summonable teams. But like at this point, I don't really even feel like, you know, it's super necessary with like the, the quality of the free to play units we're getting in this game. Like legit, if you wanted to go like full J Fanta, and you just like only played with free to play characters and free to play teams, uh, you'd still be doing pretty good. Because these free to play units are getting pretty insane. They're getting pretty crazy, man. Just like look at the LR Master Roshi we got recently. Obviously, we got monsters like LR First from Frieza. Um, even like the new, like the other EZA units like. Uh, Vegeta and Krillin and Saraban and Dodoria and so on and so forth are just like super super impressive so anyways that's all I gotta say man that's gonna be today's showcase uh I, I thought they would actually hit a little bit harder under 170% leader skills but I guess my calculations in my mind were maybe a bit off but regardless you know this these are still good numbers these are still some really really good numbers so there you have it guys I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Obviously, something you might have noticed is that these guys are nowhere close to max link levels. Okay, they're all like link level 1, 2, or 3, you know? Like, I have a lot of work to do with this team, so it could definitely be even more powerful. But for now, this is, this is good enough for me, man, so... There you have it guys, thank you for watching today's video, hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here until next time, have an awesome Awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.